Murray will race over the red line, sends it ahead. McLaughlin, the backhander cross ice feed in a score. Like a fast break there for Canisius. McLaughlin sends it up. And delivering is Felix Chamberlain. It's 1-0 Ganesius. That was such a great pass. It would be one. It was a great backhanded pass. He just kind of waited, waited, boom. Just crossed up the uh, Tigers' defense there. Out of Holland, it crossed him up. Look at that great pass. Been late getting back. McMullen backhander in front. And that will deflect, and Ganesius gets it out. Sheeran sends it ahead. Going after is Cameron Heath. The defenseman flings it in front, but Lachlan couldn't get there in time. Lachlan still controlling the puck. The freshman going in. Unfettered. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Dylan McLaughlin gives Canisius a 2-0 lead. You just can't allow that to happen. Are you I mean short it? Cut him down. It forced him to go behind the net. That's where the rotation's got to happen on your defense. Now watch Christian Short, he's going to cut off the angle here. He does a good job. Now where's, where are the RIT bodies? McMullen just let him go. Absolutely. McMullen's got to step up there, John. You got one player there back to the uh, to the puck, and then boom, you got to get a body on him. Cameron chasing after it. He's got Mazza on the far side to deal with. He's down with a lot of room to send it out. Tigers having trouble just getting it going. Can't get anything generated so far here. Look at this. Christian Short in danger, and there's a goal. Gave it right up. Josh Gabriel, shorthanded goal. It's 3 0 Canisius. Didn't get, he get out work for that puck along the boards. By, by, by this great hustle there by Joshua Gabriel. Get a little, no, Christian Short has problems with it. I think Amlong was getting set up for the pass. Gabriel just, you know, short just made a big mistake. Just poor puck handling there. Terrible. Waited too long. Terrible. He knows it too. Yes, he does. And Chase Morris sends it ahead. And Mitchell now to the far side. Brady Norris deflected. Good play in front by Cameron Heath, the defenseman. Heath, the leader, and plus minus on this Ganesha's team. Stepping up for this team. Valenzuela, cross ice feed, closing seconds here of the Tiger power play. Valenzuela, down low, this goes, and a goal! Far side, back door. That's number 10, Brady Norris. John, how many times have we seen that play? The defenseman coming back. On the power play here at RIT. And the penalty was running out with just four seconds. The man advantage set up real nice and sneaking it back door right behind. The defense there. The Fortman got kind of turned around. That's just a great path. I kind of slithered right through there. Boom. Well, well executed. It's a big goal, monster goal. This will be Chase Norris bringing it wide. He's Norris, the Atlanta Hockey Defenseman of the Week. Sends it through. Out it goes. And now, here's a three-on-one potentially going the other way. Coming down the ice. Drop pass. Kademi. Save is made. The rebound's put back in. On the power play, the Tigers pinch. They get caught. Yep. It's 4-1. to one. You just nailed it right there, Gino. They pinch too much there. Norris tries to get the cross-ice pass. Both players come in and pinch, which then sets up. The rush here by Canisius. There's the initial save. Short can't find it again. Can't locate the puck, which we saw in the opening period. And Canisius makes him pay. Venezuela will hold it in for the Tigers. Cutting to the net. Karens will push it back to Brown. Brown over to Valenzuela. Shot, it falls in. Falls over the top shoulder, a knuckleball. And the Tigers have cut it to two. He'll take that, get it right back. That's it, Gabe Valenzuela. There you go. Just throw it at the net, and the way these freshman goalies are playing, I think something's going to happen. Boom, just fire it. Look at that. Wow. Soft, John. <laughs> yes. Uh, that, I think that fine soft. We've seen now two goalies here. Yeah, it's a knuckleball. That's more like a changeup. Uh.
Rocky calls out the goal. Miller pulled down no call as Logan comes up with it. Paran Fontaine in front! It's a one goal game! Miller to Paran Fontaine. Nobody picked him up. And Paran Fontaine is fitting in just nicely up front. Yeah, he beat Sabatini to the spot. And Sabatini couldn't really work him off. Couldn't get him out of position. That's a great effort by Bron Fontaine. We're going to look at it here. Watch him just kind of sneak in back door here. The bottom of your screen, they'll work the puck. You can see Bron Fontaine kind of sneak it in, kind of sets himself, almost like positions himself or boxes out Sabatini. Look at a different angle here. You watch, he's going to sneak in here, sneak it in here, boom. Uh, RIT's record, Gina, when trailing after two periods this season, 0-5-0. Last win when trailing after two periods. You gotta go back to February 2013. It's at Mercy Mercy. February 2013. Yeah, last wow. time trailing after two periods. That's so, no. five and only season. Well, it's uh, <laughs> that is one that is gonna come back perhaps to bite the Tigers. It's a two-goal game wow. right off the face-off. What do you know, the top line getting it done once again. This is Connick. As you talked about during the, during the intermission, I mean, the opening line, or their top line, nowhere to be found, and boom. Just all well, those things. Conacher, his 12th of the season. This line is connected now on yeah. two this period. Demi's gonna elect to go glass. Going down, here's the race. Conacher sends it wide. Now here's Schmelzer with an opportunity in front. Kudemi, oh, he was falling down. The Tigers doing everything they can to prevent the empty net goal. And finally, that goes in. And that, intents and purposes, is your ball game in the second tonight. For number 63, Shane Connick. Oh, boy. And the Tigers had a good look there. Scurvy couldn't get it on the stick. It was a good idea there by the Tigers. And... Tigers get all kinds of bodies sliding in front, and then as you mentioned, Conacher gathers it, takes his time, and then there seals it for Kanisha. 